We are not supposed to be worldly. Listen to what Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians 6, 14 through 17 about not being connected to this world. He says, do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what accord has Christ with Beal? Beal is a Hebrew word that Paul suddenly threw into a Greek text, which means worthless. The worthless one, it's, a state, it's Satan. What part does Christ have with worthless? That's what he called him in Hebrew. What, is, what part does he have? Everything about Satan is worthless. Everything about Christ is worthy. Or what part does a believer with an unbeliever? And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. And God has said, I dwell in you and I walk among you. I will be their God and they shall be my people. Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch the unclean and I will receive you. This is to the church. Come out from among them. I talk some about us going to movies and the movie betrays us by covering information that we would never want to see. But somehow we thought the movies were on our side, but they're not. They're in the world. I'm not being legalistic. I'm just saying we got to realize that we are not of this world. We are of Christ. We are citizens of heaven. Let me read you one more. This is Ephesians 5, 9, and 10. For the fruit of the Spirit is all goodness and righteousness and truth. Find out what is acceptable to the Lord and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Find out the things that please God and don't have fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. We, are, we as the church are supposed to expose the unfruitful works of darkness. For it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. 